Welcome to my madness once again, ladies and gentlemen. Today I wanted to show you guys some G.I. Joe stuff that I picked up. Now, uh, somebody was selling a bunch of their collection, and they had this one little lot together. And uh, it was for a good price, which I'll go to at the end of the video. But I decided to pick the whole thing up. And as you can see here, we have some G.I. Joe retro collection stuff, which, of course, is just rebranded 25th anniversary stuff, which is fine. I like the 25th anniversary stuff. And so we got here is we got Grunt, Snake Eyes, Duke, Cobra Commander, Roadblock, and we got this right here. We got a Cobra Hiss that came with this little lot. And uh, I think I got a pretty good deal, but at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I got. And uh, you let me know if you think this was a pretty good deal. But let's go ahead and crack all this stuff open and see what we've got inside. All right, so we got them all out of the package here. We'll take a look at them one by one. First up, we do have Duke here. And Duke looks pretty good. Uh, this is not my favorite Duke, by the way, just because of the screaming head. This is a redo of one of the uh, 25th anniversary Dukes that he came with the uh, the giant U.S. flag. And, uh, you know, kind of similar to the opening sequence for the G.I. Joe movie back in the 80s. Don't like the screaming head, but other than that, it's a good figure. I mean, it looks like Duke's got the uniform and everything. He does have the, uh, the bandolier here. He's got his uh, rifle and his pistol there in the holster. But yeah, that, that screaming face there, man. <laughs> That's something else. And then, of course, he does have the helmet. But all in all, he looks pretty good. Then, of course, over here we got Roadblock. Love this Roadblock figure. I think they did a great job on this. Love the vibrant green on the gloves and the jacket, or the uh, LBV. Looks really good there. Brown pants. Yeah, looks good. This is a good Roadblock figure right here. We got the, uh, got the knee pads and everything. He's got his uh, M249 saw there. Then, of course, Roadblock also comes with, uh, I think it's supposed to be a Ma Deuce. I'm not sure. But uh, we've got that there. And of course, it's got the peg there so you can mount it onto a vehicle. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be for a specific vehicle or uh, it just mounts on whatever vehicle. I don't know. Then, of course, he also has his uh, string of 50 cal ammo there that comes with the Ma Deuce. So we got that. Then, of course, ooh, we got Cobra Commander here looking great. As Cobra Commander always does, we've got the nice bright blue with the red. He's got his uh, handgun there, and of course he's got his knife there on the side. He also has a uh, removable helmet, so you can see his chrome dome. So we got that going on, looking pretty good. Then of course we've got Rippet, who is the, uh, the tank driver here. He doesn't come with any weapons because, well, he comes with a tank. So we got that nice bright blue, love the, the red on there, the black boots. Great, uh, great helmet there. Looks good. Yeah, I dig this guy. He's got the uh, rear, uh, the back piece there, I guess. Some sort of protection. I don't know why, but there you go. i uh, got that. And then, of course, we got Grunt. This is a great figure. First of all, Grunt is an underrated character in G.I. Joe. Second, this 25th anniversary figure, which is all this is, is a fantastic figure. This is one of my favorite 25th anniversary figures here. I love this thing. Uh, I don't know what it is, just the whole look of it. It's just old school military. You know, he's got the high lace-up boots, wearing all the uh, the military green. He's got the, uh, the LBV on. He's got his M16 there. He's got his handgun in the holster. He's got his canteen there, his backpack, everything. Got his helmet. This is just a good figure. I really like this figure a lot. And, uh, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. This is cool. And then, and then of course... The Joe that pisses all the other Joes off. Because I'm going to tell you what. If you're going into battle and uh, the guy next to you goes, Okay, I'll be right there. We'll get ready for the mission. Just uh, give me, like, I don't know, an hour and a half to load up all my gear. We got a knife there. We got a knife here. We got, for some reason, a magazine pouch hanging around his neck. We got a handgun with a suppressor. We got an Uzi with a suppressor. We've got another handgun here. And then, of course, we've got to have three swords. Because that's how you go into battle in a modern military, with three swords. Anyway, now it's a cool figure. Just a little too much going on here, man. When I put him on the shelf, I probably can take some of these weapons off of him. But that is what he comes with. And then, of course, we have the hiss itself, which I haven't put any of the stickers on yet. I got the, uh, the sticker page there. But we've got the hiss there. I'm not sure how I feel about this kind of... Uh, rustic dirty looking wheels when the rest of it is just bright and clean i almost just would have preferred these just being black um because that's just kind of weird looking like if the whole thing was like aged and 
you know, had some dings or rust or dirt on it or something, like it would make more sense why this part's really, really dirty and the rest of it isn't. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It just, yeah, eh, it is what it is. But of course, we've got the uh, the turret up here, and then of course we've got the uh, the cockpit there, right like that. Okay, so not not too crazy. It's, I mean, it's a hiss. I mean, come on, we've seen these things a million times in the last 40 years, so no big deal there. But all in all, it looks pretty good. We'll get the stickers on there, and uh, it'll look even better. So that is it, guys. That is the lot that I picked up. Pretty cool. And I got to tell you. I paid 50 bucks for all of this. Like, that's it. I mean, that's less than $10 per figure, and that's if you count the hiss for free. I got six figures and a hiss for 50 bucks. That was a deal I just couldn't pass up on. That's why I got this. Um, you know, there are there's one of these figures I already had, which is the grunt figure, but the rest of them I didn't have. I didn't have these versions of the figures from the retro collection, so I got figures that I, I really like, and I got a hiss. I don't currently have one of these new blue hisses in my collection, so it was cool to get one of those. And uh, I dig it. So yeah, 50 bucks, really, really hard to beat. But there you go. There is my $50 G.I. Joe Retro Collection haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Do uh, you have any of these figures? Do you want any of these figures? Do you collect this stuff? Do you even like... I know a lot of people don't like the newer G.I. Joes in the last 20 years or so. They stick only to old school vintage stuff. I really like 25th Anniversary and newer. They're not all great, but I think there's some really good figures and they've done some really cool things on them with more detail and sculpt and articulation, which I really do appreciate. So I actually really like these, but I'd love to know what you guys think. So leave those comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And also, as always, remember to enjoy your collection.